Hi everyone, my name is Miss Debbie. I'm one of the librarians here at New Providence Memorial Library, your library. And we do hope you come and enjoy your library over the summer. We have many programs. Uh, we're, we're gonna have a bubble program and we have campfire stories in July, uh, along with incentives, our summer reading fun program with a party in August. So um, we'd like you to get excited about reading. So here's my story for you today, Little P, by Sebastian Moraine and David Colley, Little P. Look at, look at how little he is. He's smaller than a pencil. When little P was born, he was little. Very little. He's in, a, he's in a cereal bowl. He's so little. Do you have a baby in your house? He was so little that his mom made his clothes, specially by hand. Look at little. So little that he had to borrow shoes from his dolls. So little that he could fall asleep in the unlikeliest of places. That's a matchbox, and that's the back of a cat. At an early age, he taught himself how to swim in the sink. Do you have a rubber ducky in your bathtub? As he got older, he wrestled bears, teddy bears, scaled new heights, oh boy, he's climbing up a pile of Legos, walked tight ropes across the wastebasket, and raced his own car. In summer, he liked to venture into the garden. Uh-oh, hedgehog in the bushes. He liked to go for a stroll. Now here he is drinking a dew drop, a drop of dew that's falling off into his helmet. And a dip in the pond, in the frog pond. Sometimes, he laid under the stars and imagined how big the universe was. That's a fun thing to do in the summer, lay out on a warm night under the stars. He also loved to read. Look, he, look at how he has to prop that book open. He liked to climb tomato plants and go horseback riding. Sort of, he's riding on a cricket. Or is that a grasshopper? What's the difference? Do you know? When little P started school, he quickly realized how little he actually was. Look at that. He's the same size as a raffle ticket. He was too little for his chair. Too little to play the recorder. Too little for gym class. And too little for his lunch. At recess, little P couldn't play with the other kids for fear of getting squished by a ball or stepping, getting stepped on by a classmate. So he began drawing pictures to cheer himself up. Still, his teachers worried about him. What will become of poor little P? But loneliness never kept him down. Years later, little P grew up a little. Today, he has a lovely home that he built himself and he grows his own tomatoes. Look at his, his roof is a book. Maybe you grow your own tomatoes. 
Every day he hops in his car and drives to work at his teeny tiny office. Everything is just the right size. Okay. Oh, it's a shoebox. Took me a minute. <laughs> I think it's a shoebox. What does little P, P do for a living, you ask? Huh. Can you take a guess? He draws stamps that people use to send letters in the mail. So he designs and draws stamps. Huh. Well, I always wondered who designed and drew stamps. Turns out you're never too little to be a big artist. Wow. I'm sure you're going to look at stamps a little bit differently now. Here's an example of a stamp on a letter. Maybe you know someone who collects old stamps, like maybe your grandpa or an uncle or somebody. That used to be a fun thing to do. When people really sent letters, nowadays they just telephone or email or something, but um, look, do you think little P drew that? That's a lot of work. Hmm, interesting. Now, if you like the story of little P, the idea of that story comes from the old fairy tale of Tom Thumb, which was written by the Grimm brothers. So, and Tom Thumb, you'll find it in a collection of Grimm's tales. Here he is, where's Tom Thumb? Tom Thumb is here, and Tom Thumb's travels. It's a very short story, but that's where the idea comes from. Tom Thumb, as big as a thumb. Now, that, those were by the Brothers Grimm, and Hans Christian Andersen took the lead and wrote a story called Thumbelina. So it's the little, little girl that was as big as a thumb. Thumbelina. So you can find Thumbelina books in the library, and you can find Tom Thumb in the collection. And maybe we'll read it at those campfire stories. Now, for those of you who are my good readers, um, you can take the stories of little people even further um, and read this wonderful collection called The Littles. Let's get those on the screen, The Littles. So The Littles are by John Peterson. They're right here in the library. Look at how small the littles are. A chipmunk, oh, the same book, whoops. Uh, the littles go to school, the littles to the rescue. Um, <laughs> the littles and the terrible tiny kid. Anyway, there's just so many stories about the littles. So if you wanna beef up your summer reading, look at look at all these books by the of about the littles okay another set of books about little people by mary norton are the borrowers the borrowers are also little people look at them they're living in a shoe living in a teapot the borrowers so Come, do come to the library and join the summer reading program where you can get prizes just for reading, just for having fun reading. That's all we say to you. See you this summer. Bye-bye.